Hello friends, I have seen these bags on Instagram and I love them so I wanted to make one myself and I thought I would make a tutorial. So what we're going to need is, first of all, for the outside I will use this fabric as well as this pink one and also this green one which is also the one I am going to use for the inside. We are also going to need to use some wadding uh, for the outside part. I am also going to use this little ribbon to make some cute bows and some thread that is assorted to the colour of your fabrics. So, I have made a pattern, it is a little heart. I am going to try to put it in the description, to put a link or something so that you can download it and use it without having to measure everything because I know it can be a little bit confusing sometimes. So I will try my best to explain as well as I can and let's get into it. Okay, so the first step is going to make the other side of the bag. What I did is I cut three squares like that, one in each fabric I'm using, and I made 25 little squares in it, so it's five by five centimeters. I recommend doing one big square and then cutting everything. It's going to be easier, I think. And then you are going to assemble the different squares in lines so you're going to first sew this line then this line then this line and then we'll sew every lines together so every time make sure the two pretty sides are facing each other and i have put my needle on the left so that the margin i am sewing at is 0 0.1 centimeter Okay, so I have sewed all the little squares together. What you need to do is seven bands like this of seven little squares. And then we are going to assemble each band with the other. I have also ironed the seams here because it's easier and cleaner to work with. So I'm going to assemble all of that and I will see you right after. So we now have the whole square, the big square that we're going to use to then cut the heart shape of the bag. But before cutting the heart, I am using some wadding and we are going to sew every line and every column so that it has this um, vintage effect on it. And then we will trace the heart shape onto the right side of the fabric, sew all along the tracing and then we will cut it. In order to be easier and for the fabric not to go a little bit on the left than on the right because the sewing it can mess things up sometimes, um, I recommend sewing first a, col a column and then a line and then a column and then a line or one column, two columns and then one line and two lines. I am going to trace the shape of the heart onto the fabric 
and then I will sew it all around. Here is how far we've come. So now that the heart has the quilted effect, we are going to kind of accessorize the bag. And so I have already done the other part and it should look something like this. The first thing we are going to do is make this little um, ruffled part here, okay? So for that, I have two strips of fabric. Each one is 95 centimeters long and 10 centimeters large. And I am going to sew the two strips together. So just like so. And then I will iron the seam so that it is really flat. Once this is done, I am going to fold it in two, like so, and sew this edge right here with a very large stitch. It's just a straight stitch. And once this is done, we are going to pull one of the threads so that it becomes all, um, I don't know, like so that it has this effect right here, okay? And once we are done with that, we're going to attach it to the heart, I'll show you. And for the handle, um, I have one strip. It is 70 centimeters long and seven centimeters large. Once this is done, we will attach the handle onto the quilted heart, just like I did here. Uh, we will sew as well um, this part here and after that, after that, sorry, we're going to sew the inside of the bag which is a simple green heart. So let's get going. I am going to sew the two strips I have for the gathers. And why are the two pieces 95 centimeters? It is because it's around twice the perimeter of the heart. So I'm sewing them because I didn't have enough fabric. And then I will fold it like so, and then I will do the gathers. On my sewing machine, I am sewing on the left, so five millimeters away from the edge, so it's the stitch zero, and the size is five. And I am also setting the tension between two and three. I am stopping halfway through because I am afraid that when we move on to the other step, the thread breaks and if it's only on one half of the strip it is easier to fix it than if it is only one thread that I used throughout the whole strip. So I have cut the thread and I'm beginning with a new one here. I have sewn all the strip. It is now almost two meters and what you want to do is take one of the two threads and very gently pull it and see if your fabric folds like that. And that is what you are going to do for the whole strip. It has to be around 95 centimeters at the end once you have done the gathering because it's the perimeter of the heart. So you have to be very gentle and trust yourself. So as you can see, the little gathers are done. So what you want to do is align this seam right here with the bottom of the heart and you are going to pin the gathers all around the heart. You pin it this way so that when we sew on the heart, it looks like this. 
and when you come at the top you are going to put that inside so that it is not ugly like this you're going to turn it inside out like that a little thread hanging around and same for the other side for the handle I sewed all around I just left an opening here in order to turn the fabric inside out and once it's done I will sew it again to have a clean effect that is what it looks like once it is turned inside out I am going to do the second part of the strip so you know you just go like this all the way through I am going to sew very close to the edge and in the meantime it will allow me to close the hole that I left to turn the fabric inside out. I have placed them in the middle of a square just like so and at the same height as this point of the heart right here and I am going to sew it in the shape of a square with a cross inside of it so that it is sturdy. It should look something like this. I had a little issue with my mic but what I was saying is that I am going to sew the gathers onto the heart and once this is done I will put the inside fabric on top of everything and sew it again all around following approximately where I sewed the gathers and you need not to forget to leave an opening so that you can turn the heart inside out after that. And here is the opening that we left that we are going to use to turn everything inside out. We are getting closer and closer to the end. So that is one side of the bag. I have sewn all around this edge of the heart in order to make it look clean and nice and it is exactly what I am going to do on the part that we just finished here because you know it doesn't look so good without it and when this is done I will put the two bags the two pieces of the bag sorry together just like so and sew close to the edge all around the rest of the heart and in the meantime, this will close the little opening we left on both pieces to turn the fabric inside out. So let's get going. What I recommend you do is while sewing, you pull this side of the gathers so that it gives the heart a nice shape. So I'm going to put fire just next to this edge of the ribbon for the two bows on each side of the bag so that it doesn't go apart. And now I am going to show you how to make a bow. So in order to, for it to be, you see, nicely horizontal. So it's very simple. You need to take a piece of ribbon and you put it at the back of the handle. Then you just make a simple knot, but this knot has to be the left on top of the right and you pull it, okay? You make sure both sides are equal and then you tighten the knot, all right? So you tighten it well and then with the lower part of the ribbon you make a loop and with the right side right part of the ribbon you come behind it you cross it and then without uh, twisting the ribbon you put it inside the hole here like that and you catch it on the other side and then you pull it gently and you make it the size you would like. And there you have your bow. 
Well friends, I am more than happy, delighted, glad, anything you want to tell you that the bag is finally finished. So here is the final result. Two bows on each side. I think it looks pretty similar to the original uh, one, to the original bag. It's not really deep inside, but you know, <laughs> I think we are more using these kind of bags um, for fashion purposes than really having something to put all our stuff inside. So I am super happy with how it turned out. I hope the explanations were clear. I hope you understood what I meant. If you didn't, don't worry. You can ask me anything in the comments. I am going to put the pattern of the heart in the description for you to download it and use it. Um, yes, I hope you liked the video and tell me if you are going to reproduce it at home. I will see you soon. Sweet kisses.